Hey guys, so today I'm filming my Beauty Empties number seven. I will link my playlist down below. If you guys have not seen an empties video from me before, I film these every three months instead of monthly because I like to wait until I have makeup products to share with you because that's my favorite part of an empties. I always split my products up into categories and I will have them listed down below with the times that they start in case you don't want to see everything. I totally understand and I'm just going to jump into it. So first, I I have some products that I think I'm gonna stop showing in these videos because I don't think they're that helpful. So first would be my contact solution, Opti Free Replenish. I get this in a two pack from Costco, it works great. I always repurchase that and I don't think that's very helpful for a video, but let me know if you want me to keep these things in or if I should take them out. I have Altoid Smalls Peppermint Mints. These are my favorite. Um, they're good at freshening your breath without really being overpowering. Then I have two of the Crest 3D White Toothpaste, travel size, full size. This is my Holy Grail toothpaste. I always repurchase this and I will never change. It does a nice job for freshening and whitening. So those are products that I use the same things over and over and over again. And I've talked about them so many times. I don't think it's helpful and it's taking up time in my video. So let me know if you want me to keep them. But as of now, I'm going to leave them out of my videos. Let me know if there's anything else you think I should leave out. So now just getting into the rest of my products with body care. First, I have this dial travel size body wash this is the all day freshness body wash in the sh in the scent spring water this smells amazing like even though this smells like water you think it would smell like nothing but this smells incredibly fresh this is amazing it really lathered well i would absolutely repurchase this in a travel size and probably a full size too for the shower because i thought this was really great and it smelled incredible so this was a definite hit for me next i have the mitchum smart solid clinical performance deodorant this is unscented this is my favorite deodorant. This is an antiperspirant. I would love to wear natural deodorant, but I perspire way too much for that and I'm just not comfortable. But this is great. This has 20% aluminum, which is the ingredient that's supposed to be bad for you, but that is the antiperspirant ingredient. So this works really well at controlling my perspiration. And this is also clear, which I love. I'm not gonna get deodorant stains on my shirt, but this does leave my armpits a little bit sticky. So I wait usually five minutes before I put my shirt on and then I'm good to go. Definitely recommend this for anybody that has a problem with perspiration. Next, I have a Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer in Winter Candy Apple. This and Japanese Cherry Blossom are my favorite scents. When these come back out for holiday, I'm going to stock up. I hope Bath & Body Works never discontinues this because I think people around the world would just be outraged. I love this scent. I love apple scents, but this does have a candy scent to it, which is a perfect combination. I love this. These sanitizers clean my hands well without leaving them sticky, which is really, really nice. So I would definitely repurchase that. Then I finished up a Sarah Jessica Parker NYC perfume. This was a one fluid ounce bottle. This is my favorite fragrance. Unfortunately, it was discontinued, but this is the perfect mix between fruity and floral, which are my two favorite scent categories for perfume. Check your coals. That is where I found this. I got it on super clearance for $7. I wiped out my store because this is my favorite scent. Let me know your favorite perfumes that are a little bit fruity or florally because I obviously need to find a new one since this was unfortunately discontinued. My last body product is something kind of different. These are the Trim Eyebrow Razors. Um, you can use these for any areas on your face. I heard about these from people on YouTube as using them for peach fuzz and that's what I do. I have a lot of peach fuzz around my eyebrows and in the center of my brows. So I take this and just trim that up. The, the hairs do not grow back darker or longer or thicker or anything because I'm not I'm not um, shaving the actual brow hairs. I'm shaving the peach fuzz and that works really well and it just makes my makeup look smoother. So I do love these. These were a little bit expensive. A three pack was like $7 or something. So I do have two more, but this one was getting a little bit dull. So I moved on to the next one, but this was a really great product and I would recommend it for getting rid of that unsightly peach fuzz. 
Now moving on to hair products, I only have three. The first is my Holy Grail Dry Shampoo, which is from Suave. This costs only $3. It does a great job of soaking up my oil. Sometimes it does leave a white cast, which is not very hard for me to blend out. I just rub with my fingers and I'm good to go. I have not tried Batiste. Part of me wants to, part of me doesn't. I think it's probably great, but that's why I don't want to try it. It's $8, and this is only 3 and I love it so much. So if you've tried Batiste, let me know if it really is worth the hype. But I do think this is a great drugstore, inexpensive dry shampoo, and it does the job. I've repurchased it several times, and I have already repurchased it. Then I have the L'Oreal Ever Pure Smooth Conditioner. and This is for color-treated hair, and this is a rosemary mint scent. The scent is out of this world. I'm obsessed with this rosemary mint scent. It is so fresh. This lingers in my hair, which is great. This is not a deep conditioner, but it does the same thing as a deep conditioner. I just leave it in the ends of my hair for a couple minutes and then rinse it out. My hair will be super soft. This is my holy grail. I run through it kind of fast, but it is my favorite and I love it and I recommend it to you guys if you want a nice deep conditioning treatment. The last product I have for hair is something different for me and this is hair dye. I do dye my hair, I just have never included it in a video before and this is the Garnier Nutrice Nourishing Color Cream in the shade number 93 Light Golden Blonde. Here's this lovely gal and as you can see not quite a match and that's okay. I have learned from my several several years of dyeing my hair that because I have redheads in my family my hair naturally pulls red. I'm never going to be able to get this golden blonde color because whenever I choose a hair dye that's golden it turns red which is what I wanted. I wanted a strawberry blonde because unfortunately you cannot get natural redhead in a bottle. I really wish I could and I've tried but never comes out that way. So if I want blonde that is not red at all I have to get an ash blonde hair dye but golden blonde I'm not gonna get this beautiful color I'm gonna get this beautiful color instead so as you can see not quite a match but I love this strawberry blonde hair dye this was very very simple to use it did a great job and this is one that I'm definitely gonna repurchase I'm probably gonna just keep purchasing this color to touch up because I love it but I would really recommend this like I said it was quite easy to use it was not expensive and it was worked very, very well. So I would definitely recommend this hair dye. I've tried getting my hair dyed at a salon. To me, it's not worth the money. I think this works just as well and it lasts just as long. So, and I always get my mother to dye my hair. I'm kind of afraid to do it myself. Let me know if you dye your hair yourself and how that goes for you and kind of how you do it. Now moving on to some skincare products. First, I have the Neutrogena Makeup Removing Wipes. These are my holy grail. I have two of the travel packs and two of the full-size packs. I get these in a big box from Costco that comes with four full-size, two travel size. It's a great bargain because these can be a little bit expensive. These are my holy grail wipes because they get off all of my makeup, my eyeliner, mascara, my foundation, everything, and they don't sting my eyes or irritate my skin, which I find to happen with most makeup wipes, but not these. So these are my absolute favorite. Definitely recommend these to you guys. Next, I finished up some cotton rounds. Let me know if you want me to leave out cotton rounds and cotton balls, because I can do that. I'm not sure if that's helpful or not. So let me know. And this is the White Cloud brand from Walmart. I always repurchase these. These are really, really great. I use them for toner. Then I finished up a cleanser. This is the Garnier Clean Plus Blackhead Eliminating Scrub. This is specifically for oily skin. It is supposed to unclog pores and clear complexion. I think this works really, really well. This was a nice charcoal exfoliating scrub, but it wasn't too, too rough. I use this every night or every other night in the shower to really cleanse my skin and exfoliate the dead skin cells. This also has salicylic acid acne medication in there. I thought this was nice, but I kind of want to move on to some more high-end skincare. I want to try stuff from Mario Badescu and Murad for their oily skin products or acne control products. So if you've tried those brands, let me know your thoughts on whether it's worth the investment. I always kind of hesitate on investing on skincare just because it takes so long to see the results. I don't want to be wasting my money for three months or whatever. So let me know 
I think I'm, I just need to get over it and get into some higher end skincare. I also finished up these clear still rapid action pads. These are what I use at night if I don't take a shower at night. And these work really well to just clean my face, especially if you are a lazy girl. These will be your best friend. They do have salicylic acid medication in there to help fight acne as well. So I love these for cleansing my face. I use them after my makeup wipe. Then I finish up this sample of the Hydro Peptide Eye Authority Eye Cream that is supposed to work for dark circles, puffiness, and fine lines. I, this did last me a couple of uses, but it wasn't enough to see any results. Um, right now I'm using an eye cream from Clinique. I don't know if it's doing anything. It was a free gift. Um, so I'm not going to purchase this. Like I said, I really I'm not good at investing in skincare, even though I probably should, and I should start getting into anti-aging. I know I'm only 22, but so you can never start too early. So now the rest of everything is makeup, and I actually have a ton of makeup products here, probably the most I've had in any of these videos, which is super exciting for me. First, I have two products that I have hit pan on, and they would be my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundations, my Holy Grail Powder. I have two shades. First one I have is number one ivory. This is the lightest shade. You can see I've hit some pretty major pan. I hit pan on these powders really quickly and run through them kind of fast as well. This is a shade number two nude. Again, I've hit pretty major pan. I already have backups of these. These are my Holy Grail powders. Give nice coverage and keep me matte without looking cakey. So love these. Recommend them to anybody, especially people with oily skin or anybody that wants full coverage. Now I have two primers. First is a sample of the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Plus Protection. I didn't notice anything with this. I know people rave about this Laura Mercier primer. I don't notice anything in it is very expensive. I don't, I don't get the hype of that. I don't think it was that great. I didn't notice it did anything for me. So I would not repurchase that. Then I finished up my NYX Shine Killer. I've had this since uh, Christmas. So I was really stoked to finally finish this. I used it every day. So this will last you a really long time. I, this did help control my oil a little bit. Right now I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte and I think that works a little bit better, but I do still think that is a nice oil control primer. Next I have a foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 1W1 bone. I completely used it up. I used the last little bit this morning. I even put a q-tip in there and dug it around and I can't get any more. I also got this for Christmas so this has lasted me a very long time. This is my Holy Grail foundation. This gives me full coverage matte finish. The shade is really yellow which is perfect for my skin. This is my Holy Grail perfect foundation. I already have a backup that I'm excited to bust into and next time I go to the CCO I'm gonna get one or two more backups because it's discounted. It's the old formula. And if they have my color for a discounted price, of course, I'm going to get that. So happy and sat at the same time to finish that up. It is a little bit expensive, but it is my Holy Grail foundation. Next, I have a concealer. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer in 125 Fair. I got this from my friend Lucy, and this was nice. Even though this is a fair shade, it was actually darker than my foundation. So this is not light enough for me, unfortunately, but this was nice. It has a brush tip applicator like this. This does give pretty sheer coverage. So if you have really dark under eye circles or really dark blemishes, I don't think that this is going to cover it for you. I think this would be nice for highlighting, but not if you need any type of full coverage with your concealer. So I am not gonna repurchase this. I prefer using some of my other concealers with more coverage. Now I have two powders. The first one is my NYX Mineral Set It Don't Fret It matte finishing powder in the shade number one light medium. This is another product that I got for Christmas and finally finished up. That is so exciting and I didn't realize how many of these things that I had gotten for Christmas. So it is completely used up. Um, it even I took out the sifter to finish this all up. This was a great, great powder to set my face and this was great at filling in pores and lines and giving me a matte finish without looking cakey. It added only a slight bit of color. This does come in two shades. Um, I prefer pressed powders, but if I was looking for a loose powder, I would definitely repurchase this. After this, I started using the e.l.f. HD powder 
and I realized how much I love this. I didn't know until I stopped using it. This is a really, really great product that I would recommend to anyone, and I definitely would repurchase this. So now I have three more face products. I have another powder. This is the NYX Blotting Powder in the shade Light. This is completely used up, as you can see. So the reason that this is completely used up is that I was getting it out of my purse to use it and it was completely cracked, which I don't know why I'd never dropped it or anything. And I went to blow some of the crumbly bits in the trash and then the whole thing fell in the trash. There was other stuff in there. I wasn't going to try to grab it out of there. So I, that is why this is used up. I had, I had hit pan on it, but I had not finished it up. But anyway, I did not really care for this powder. When I applied it to my oily areas as a touch up, 20 minutes later I was oily again and that does not happen with my other powders. So I don't think that this is that good of a powder for touch ups. If you are super oily like me, if you're more normal skin then maybe it would work well. So I'm not going to repurchase this. It was kind of a letdown for me. The next thing I finished up is super exciting but also super sad. This is my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I purchased this three years ago. Three years ago, it is completely used up. I mean, I definitely got my $28 worth. This is my Holy Grail favorite bronzer. This is a gorgeous neutral tone for my fair skin. If you're more on the medium side, it's gonna look more cool on you. But this is a gorgeous matte bronzer. It's not too powdery, not too stiff either. It applies and blends really well. It's my favorite bronzer because it does not look orange on me. It has a nice neutral brown. I am gonna repurchase it. I do have a couple bronzers that I'm trying to work through, but I will repurchase this because like I said, it is my holy grail. So I'm very, very happy to have finished that. Next is another holy grail product for me. This is my NYX Blush in Taupe. Um, this is what the remnant looked like. Completely finished up. And the reason I had a very slight amount of this left, if you've seen this before, I've, I had hit major pan for a long time and then I dropped it and I've tried to use the little bits, but it was making too big of a mess and I already repurchased this. This is my favorite contour powder. I recommend this for anybody that is fair like me. This is a very, very cool tone, grayish taupe brown that is really awesome for sculpting the cheeks and it will look more natural. It will mimic an actual shadow shade. So I think it's really awesome. It's very smooth, pigmented, creamy. NYX Blush and Taupe, definitely recommend it. They don't sell this at Ulta, so you need to buy it on NYXcosmetics.com or from Cherry Culture. So I finished up both of these, so happy but also so sad, but these are holy grail products of mine. So now moving on, I have two brow products. First is the Maybelline Define Brow in the shade Dark Blonde. This is a mechanical brow pencil. I love this. I like my Anastasia Brow Wiz a little bit more, but this is a great brow pencil from the drug store. It is a nice, small, precise tip. I find it clings to hairs and it draws onto skin very well. So I do love this. I would recommend it and I would repurchase this. I also sadly finished up my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I got this for Christmas as well. So this lasted me an extremely long time. Since the tube is not clear, I can't see how much is left and I also can't see how gunky it looks, which I like, but I used up every last bit of this. This was like hairspray for your brows. Um, it did not make them crunchy unless you applied too much pressure, but this kept my brows in place. This was so awesome. I do plan on repurchasing it. I'm trying one from Milani right now. So now I have some other eye products. I have several eyeliners. First, I have the Rimmel Scandal eyes precision micro eyeliner this is waterproof this dried out so incredibly fast which I hate I find that to be very common with pen style liquid liners even though I store them upside down this also has a very very small tip which I don't like because it was hard for me to get in my lashes because the plastic part around it would get in the way so and this is not the most pigmented black it did not last very long i don't recommend this eyeliner whatsoever i also finished up the jordana fabu liner liquid liner in black this one is better than the rimmel i like the packaging better and i just have the same thing this is kind of rough and I found that it tugged and skipped on my lid which I hate and I don't have very wrinkly eyelids either so this dried out fast I know that these things like come back to life 
Last one I have is the Milani Eye Tech Perfection Liquid Liner. It has this ergonomic shape to it. This was my favorite out of the three. I like the brush a lot. This one unfortunately did dry up quickly as well. So these I would not recommend. This one I think is nice, but my favorite is still my Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Liner. It lasts a lot longer. The brush is perfection. So I also finished up one product that I've had for so, so long and used every day. This is the Rimmel uh, Scandal Eyes Eyeliner in the shade Nude. I have completely used it up. There is no more product in there. I had this for the longest time. I am so happy to have used it up. This was the only drugstore nude eyeliner I've ever seen. This was really great in my waterline. It did not last all day, but because it was a nude color, it didn't get all over my face. I did not repurchase this. Instead, I tried the Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner, which is a mechanical kind, and they just released a couple new shades in that line and one of them is nude. So I am using a Rimmel nude eyeliner but not the Scandal Eyes. I'm using the Exaggerate which is a mechanical and both of these are waterproof. This was nice. It was very inexpensive and it lasted a long time so I would recommend this to you guys. I also finished up a mascara. This is the Mary Kay Lash Love in the shade I Heart Black. This has a plastic bristle brush. I did really like this one. I liked it a little bit more as it dried out, but this was really, really nice for length. So this is a really good mascara and I would repurchase this. So the last three things I have are all lip balms. I'm going to let you know right now, I don't like any of these. I was trying to use them up so I can get them out of my collection and just use the ones that I love. So the first one is the Chapstick Hydration Lock Chapstick. This is supposed to give you eight hours of moisture, more like eight minutes. Like this is such a thin formula, which I do not like. I prefer thick formulas that last on my lips. So this has a nice scent to it. It is like a vanilla scent. Um, it wasn't good. It I ran out of it really quickly and it just did not actually moisturize my lips. It just put like a slippery layer on them. Then I finished up the Maybelline Baby Lips in the shade Pink Punch. This has a nice fruit punch scent to it. It has a nice pretty color, but this did not moisturize my lips. It was again very, very slippery and I had to reapply it several, several times throughout the day. It just didn't last on me. The last one I have is the Maybelline Baby Lips Doctor Rescue in the shade Soothing Sorbet. It looks like this. Again, pretty color. Um, it has like a minty scent, but I don't love it too slippery. So the problem with all of these chapsticks is the formula is too, too slippery for me. I know some people love these, but they're too slippery and they don't last long enough and they don't moisturize well enough for my particular lips. So I would not repurchase or recommend any of these lip balms. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this was a long one. I didn't expect to have so many products, but I'm glad that I had so much makeup to talk about. So let me know what products that you have used up recently. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.